What's up, guys? It is season five of Southern Veins. It's been a blast up until this point, and I hope y'all have enjoyed it much as we have. We're gonna start this season off with an alligator hunt down at Seminole Prairie in Okeechobee, Florida. Well, we are just pulling up at Seminole Prairie. Gate looks awesome. About to meet Chris and Jared in here and get the game plan and go try to kill a gator in a couple hours. I hope this rain gets out of here because it has been raining since we got into Florida and it's gotta quit. So this hunt was the idea me and Chase have been talking about doing for a while. And I decided to take it on my birthday weekend. And my plan was to go down there and kill a giant gator and somehow in the mix, Chase gets to hunt. So we pull into this camp and it's pretty pretty neat. I mean, we've got our own little place to sleep. We have the, the actual living spot, it's really nice. There's all this crazy taxidermy in there. And we meet the guides and get a plan for the afternoon. So we get on the boat, get everything ready. Pretty much the way this whole thing works is we've got this huge fishing pole with a thousand yards of line on it and a chicken, <laughs> pretty much. It's sprayed with spray foam so it floats. So we spot an alligator, you go past it, drop the chicken off, and then run back as far as you can, and you wait for the alligator to resurface, and you pull the chicken just like a lure on the top of the water. And as soon as the alligator sees it, he comes for it, takes it under, and then, then the fight's on. Then you <laughs> get the boat into position, pull into him, and <laughs> hold on for dear life. So that afternoon when we go out, we have a good time, we hook a couple small ones, but nothing special, nothing to really brag about. Then we hook into a really nice one, but it ends up getting us hung up and breaks us off. So we hang it up and get ready for the next day. So early the next morning, we get back after them, right at daybreak. We're getting on the water, we're hunting hard, we're looking for gators, and we can't find anything we like. We have to be through with this by 10 o'clock this morning. So we hunt all morning long. I mean, me and Matthew have been on this boat since daylight, just looking for the right alligator, and just can't seem to find it. And the clock is ticking. We've got 20 minutes left. We come to the back of this cut, and, and there he is. We make a move, we get the bait in position and come back. And next thing I know, I'm hooked into this alligator <laughs> and holding on. So this thing is pulling line, it is pulling chase, it's pulling boat, it's doing everything and anything you can imagine. This is the adrenaline clique we were looking for for all these years we've been wanting to hunt gators. As we get him up to the boat, that's when everything starts to get exciting. There's people flying everywhere, there's alligator flying, and we finally get him to the position where I can get the air bow and make a good shot. Then I pull him back up and I hit him with a harpoon. And then I pull him back up and we hit him with a boomstick to finally get that last blow so we can get this big thing in the boat. So this gator hunt down in Okeechobee was one of the things we've always wanted to do in our whole lives. And me and Chase had an absolute blast on this trip. I'd like to give a shout out to Seminole Prairie, to Chris and Jared for this awesome experience. And just feel so thankful to be able to do this. It was a once in a lifetime opportunity. Man, what an alligator. I can't thank Jared and them enough. This is a hunt that I will never forget. And to top it all off, it was on Matthew's birthday. I don't know how I managed to trick him into letting me hunt on his birthday, but I ain't, I'm not complaining, I promise. So the next time you'll see us, we'll be at Southern Whitetail Outfitters in Kentucky chasing early season whitetails with our great friends Hunter and Jenna. 